Okay, today we're going to be assembling the Bumbleberry Pi. So the first step is to attach the Raspberry Pi to the LCD screen. And you do that with the four Phillips screws. Okay, we're doing that with a Phillips uh, screwdriver. Next, we're going to attach the ribbon cable, which connects the Raspberry Pi to the LCD. So the first thing you want to do is pull up on the black connectors, push in the ribbon cable, push down on the ribbon cable, and then push down on the black connector. Same thing here, pull up on the black connector, push in the ribbon cable, and then push down on the black connector. That secures it in place. Next, we're going to put the LCD and Pi assembly inside of the enclosure, the back enclosure, and we're going to attach the back enclosure to the Raspberry Pi with the four socket head screws listed in the parts list, just like that. We're using an M2.5 hex driver. Okay, next we're going to route the cable, the USB-C cable. This is included with the, the power bank. So we're going to route it uh, through the, the side port hole. We're going to attach it to the 180 degree USB-C to USB micro connector and then plug it into the power port on the Pi. Next we're going to attach the 90 degree USB-C connector. And when we plug this into the power bank, that's going to be your power switch. Okay. Next, we're going to take the keyboard, toss it in upside down into the enclosure, upside down. Uh, and we're going to put, next we're going to put a piece of uh, Kapton tape. This is just uh, Kapton tape that I doubled over. Put that on top, and that's going to hold the keyboard in place on top of the battery pack. USB battery pack goes on next, drops in there, okay, just like that. Uh, next, we put a little piece of Kapton uh, in tape. You don't strictly need this piece. Uh, but I like it just to keep things from rattling around. You want to make sure you keep this little uh, charging indicator uh, nice and free there. Put on the back enclosure, and then we're going to secure the back enclosure with the six countersunk screws. Again, uh, M2.5 uh, driver on this one. Okay, plug it in to power it on and we're good to go.